Well, I found a plugin that is the best that I've ever found for DaVinci Resolve that removes background noise. If I turn it on, check it out. Now it's on and it just takes that noise right out of there. Now wait, uh, there is no way this can be that good. Like this sounds almost as good as the NVIDIA Broadcast plugin that used to work in Premiere Pro. Like there's, there's no way this is that good. Only one way to find out. So yeah, hey everybody, look, what's going on? My name is Terry, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about something that I have had problems with in DaVinci Resolve ever since I switched to it from Premiere Pro about a year or so ago full time. Um, as many of you might know, I actually have an RTX graphics card and whenever I do streams over on Twitch, which by the way folks, little shameless plug here, if you wanna go follow me, links down below for you all. I always use the NVIDIA broadcast tool on my microphone to use their AI noise removal. Especially, you might even be able to hear it right now, my air conditioner's on, or I always have a fan on or something in my office, you know what I mean? And because, well, it gets kind of warm in here during the fall and in the summertime, so you gotta stay cool. Like, I, I don't wanna be sweating on stream, right? And I always would use the AI noise removal or the RTX voice in the NVIDIA broadcast suite because it works extremely well at what it does. And a matter of fact, there was actually a VST plugin that you could use the uh, RTX voice inside of Premiere Pro. Now, unfortunately, I always tried to get it to work in Re Resolve. It doesn't even work in, in the uh, paid Resolve Studio. And I even went ahead and bought the paid VST3 version instead of the free VST2 version that they offer again for free on the website. But unfortunately, even that just didn't work. Like the plugin seems to be kind of like perpetually broken right now, but it's okay. Not really a big deal because again, I just have NVIDIA broadcast and, and it's fine. But I would always use the plugin in Premiere Pro because it was the best noise reduction tool that I have ever used in my entire content creation journey here. And I was always looking for a replacement for it in Resolve and now Resolve Studio. And I sort of kind of just gave up. I'm like, you know, there's probably no way that I can never replicate this. And I just got to just deal with the, you know, built in noise suppression in Resolve and just deal with it and move on. Well, then I happened to come across that video that you just saw. It's by a large creator by the name of Jason Yedlovsky. If I butchered your last name, pal, I'm so sorry. Everybody, do me a huge favor. Go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link to him in a pinned comment below along with the direct link to that video. And this software, it is paid software. Okay, it's paid software. Uh, there's a Clarity VX Pro and then just a Clarity VX. Uh, the, the Pro version is a $250 option, and there are quite a few more advanced features, but I just went ahead and purchased the cheaper one, just the regular plain old Clarity VX, for around $35, $40. Sometimes it even goes on sale for as low as $30. And this tool is by far the best thing I have ever purchased for Resolve. This tool is nearly as good, actually it is as good in, in, in my opinion, as that RTX voice plugin to remove the background noise. So here's what I'm gonna do to test this in real time for you. I have Crab Rave, you know, the OG Crab Rave here, pulled up on YouTube, and I'm gonna just play it, okay? And then I'm gonna load everything up into Resolve, and let's see if it works. Okay. So you should be hearing the music and me, and I'm gonna turn on the the, uh, the Clarity FX right now. Now, you're gonna hear me talking louder to talk over the music, but you should be able to hear me a lot better and the music should be cut out practically entirely. All right, everybody, so I already have Resolve loaded up here and the previous part of the video is already in my timeline here, so let's see how well this actually works here, shall we? All right, everybody, here's my timeline right here. Now, just to let you all know, whenever I installed this plugin, it came with an installer, and uh, I went ahead and installed it through that way, and whenever I opened up Re Resolve and scanned for new uh, plugins and everything, it was already there. Like, I, I, I didn't have to add it manually or anything like that, so that's pretty awesome, if you ask me. So, as you will see right here, okay, folks? <laughs> Now, you're gonna hear me talking louder to talk over the music, but... Okay, so you can, you can pretty much still hear the music, right? Because the effect's not on. 
So to add it, it's really, really simple here. Okay, fam. You want to just go over here to the Fairlight page. I'm going to go over here to Effects. I'm going to go down to Restoration, hit VST, then Clarity VX Stereo. Then this dialog box here is going to come up. Okay, now there are two options here for the neural network. The first one here, it's going to keep your voice in check. And also it's going to look for any kind of secondary speech, like if you have another person with you speaking. But for this one here, though, I'm going to go ahead and change it to the second option here. And as you can see here, it's better for severe ambient noise and keeps mostly main voices close to the microphone. So because I was sitting so close to the microphone, it's only going to essentially isolate mine. OK, now for analysis, you're going to have single or, or double. Um, if, if you have a system powerful enough to to really utilize it, I will go ahead and do double. So that way there, you know, you're getting the most out of this plugin that you can. But if not, though, it's a lot less CPU intensive to use the single analysis here. Okay. So in real time, we're going to go ahead and do this here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Now you're going to hear me talking louder to talk over the music, but you should be able to hear me a lot better and the music should be cut out practically entirely. All right, yeah, so that's really impressive. And you know here too, everybody, people automatically think that whenever you apply this kind of noise suppression or noise cancellation, whatever you want to call it to a piece of video like this here, that it's all like, like it's going to automatically clean everything up and keep your voice sounding just like this here. And unfortunately, that is not the case. Whenever you apply severe noise suppression to any kind of video or to any kind of, uh, you know, spoken word stuff like this here, it's going to distort your voice a little bit to get rid of any kind of background ambient noise that you're trying to get rid of. So unfortunately, I personally don't know of any noise suppression or noise reduction software or plugin or technology that can keep your voice sounding this good, like straight out of microphone while also getting rid of the stuff in the background. Um, the NVIDIA plugin for the VST or just directly within the NVIDIA broadcast suite, it does the same thing. Like if you have a severe background noise, it will distort your voice a little bit in order to get rid of this background. But if we go ahead and apply this effect to another clip in my timeline here to where it's just the air conditioner on in, in the background, it shouldn't need that much noise reduction to get rid of it. And my voice should still sound kind of normal. So let's try that, too. All right, everybody, now this clip here, my air conditioner is pretty, pretty uh, present in, in, in the background. Nearly as good. Actually, it is as good in, in it's not bad, but it's still there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this here. I'm going to go ahead and do this here on a two. I'm going to go over here to effects. I'm going to go to again, restoration VST clarity VFX studio. And I'm going to take this back to the very beginning here. And I'm going to do like 30% here. The best thing I have ever purchased for Resolve. This about tool 50? is nearly as good. Actually, it is as good, in, in, in my opinion, as that RTX voice plugin to remove the background noise. Whoa. Okay, w without it? It was by far the best thing I have ever purchased for Resolve. This tool is nearly as good. Actually, it is as good in, in, in my opinion. That is awesome. And it's the subtlety. Like you can still hear it a little bit, but I didn't crank it up 200%. You know what I mean? So this kind of tool is exactly what I've been looking for. So yeah, I just wanted to showcase this amazing tool. Uh, Jay, thank you so much for showing this to your audience. I'm so grateful that YouTube fed me your video in the algorithm. Thank you so much. Uh, incredible content creator too. I've seen a lot of his videos on his channel and the guy knows, knows what he's talking about. He really does. So again, everybody do me a huge favor. Go drop him a subscription. Uh, go check out that video. Everything will be down in a pinned comment down below. And I hope this might help somebody else out there because again, this was driving me nuts for a long time in resolve and thanks to that video i finally have a solution this is incredible so just once again thank you all for coming by thank you so much for sticking around and i will catch you guys and gals in the next video